Welcome to Eastside Radio Cast TV. For here, this is a SOIT presentation, and they've invited Miss Karen Peña to speak. Hello, everybody. Um, like I said, I'm Karen Peña. I'm going to talk to you about um, real estate investing, uh, property management, and also I'm on the board of Ed. So I want to tell you a little bit about myself, my background. Um, born and raised in Patterson. Um, my parents emigrated from Peru. Um, I work in the family business 18 years um, doing property management. So um, I went to Saint, I went to Catholic school all my life. I went to St. John's and um, Grand Street. Then I went to Mary Hubble Christians. Um, and then um, for college, I went to uh, Freddie Dickinson for one year. And then I uh, went to Berkeley College, got my associate's degree in business management, and then I got my bachelor's degree in accounting. And then I, after that, I decided to continue, got my master's degree in business administration. So um, that's with my education. I, I'm in the family business for about 18 years. Um, they have a bunch of properties. They, um, they started with just buying a house in the 80s, um, $80,000, they bought their first house. They saved their money so they could be able to buy more properties. Um, so up to date, they have, um, like I said, eight properties and two houses. So what I do, I take care of their financials. Um, I take care of their, um, their accounting, their payroll. I do all their, um, everything that has to do with to control the properties. Um, are you anybody interested in accounting, or what kind of what kind of field you guys are interested in? Definitely business. Business? Yeah. You guys are okay. graduate. Why are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> the seniors. <laughs> what my advice to you guys that you guys are working. You guys are living with your parents or uh, where you're living with, save your money now. Save your money now so that when you get older, you don't have to you know, be renting an apartment. You can buy your first house and you could you know, buy some property and you know, be settled, be secure, or survive in case that you know, your job you know, you get laid off or something happens. So you have to always have emergency money. Okay, and I just want to add that Angel already has experience with real estate investing. He's, he knows about auctions is before he took the class. Do you want to elaborate a little on that? Your experience? Oh yeah, I've often every Tuesday visit um, the auction down in City Hall mm -hmm. um, with my father because that's what he does. He buys messed up houses that people can't afford to pay no more and he rebuilds them and um, rents them forward. Mm -hmm. I am also already have the business experience because I'm a store manager where I've worked at for over two years. So, yeah, I got experience with that. To save your money early, make sure that you have a good, steady job, and then you could get, establish your credit, you know, and be able to, to buy that property that you want, you know. Um, well, that's how my family did, you know. They, and also ask questions. Try to find, like, he, he goes to the auctions or whatever. You can find somebody you know there that can mentor you or, or teach you about that. So it's always good to, to you know whatever field that you want to get into, you have to you know find you know go to the guidance counselor or the teacher that, that you know that can give you good advice and guide you in the right direction. And right now we don't have as many responsibility as an adult would, so it would yes. be easier for us to see. Very save easier, us. very easier. You know, you're living with your parents, you have no bills, you have no. Um, you know, your concentration is just your education. So it's very easy for you to put some money aside, you know, have that little job, you know, the summer job or whatever, and, and put some money aside. You know, so you have to be smart at the beginning, you know, at a, at a young age. Yeah, so the reason I got into it was because it's my two passions. I love children and I love education. So, um, I want to better to make sure that they have the programs that they need, that the children need, so they can um, progress and you know, do better. And, you know. 
I believe you got honored, right, in the birthday graduation? In the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, you were there? Yeah, my sister's graduating. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was an alumni of the year. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys for um, having me today for Career Day, and I wish you all well for your future. Um... Okay, everybody, welcome again to Eastside Radio Cast TV, and for this time, we have Councilwoman Maritza De Villa. Let's give it up for her. Um, I'm here to speak to you specifically on two things. My passion is education. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions for Passaic County Community College. Um, I am an Eastside High School graduate. This is why, to me, it's so important to come here and share with you my story. People will say that none of you know me. None of you have known my journey, okay? But I don't come here to get this. I come here to share and give you some, some, some insight on the process and the journey that I have and hopefully I can touch one or two or three or maybe all to know that, you know, living, being born and raised in Patterson has not been easy, right? And so, yes, I went to college and I got the bachelor's degree and I have the master's degree and I've been working for Passaic County College as an administrator for 25 years and I've assisted thousands of students go to college, graduate not only with their associates but their bachelor's to go on to get their master's. I have students coming back, I'm a doctor. I've done all of that, right? But you guys gotta know the story, okay? So I sat where you sat, okay? I struggled. I was your average, below average student. I walked in this morning, and as I walked in, I felt a little depressed when I walked in because it just brought me back to when I was young and the struggles that, as a family, we had, okay? And so we struggled. But I vaguely remember it. But I remember when I was seven because I remember that's when we lost it all. That's when our house burned down on Madison Street. And, and what I can see, we became poor. There was no more Christmases with all the gifts and all of that stuff. Mother with four kids, single, and so many challenges, right? I came to Eastside High School in that year where Joe Clark was the thing. He was the ish. He was like, oh, movie land. You remember that? Because mm -hmm. we graduated together. Mm -hmm. So, I was in that movie, and I tell everyone, I've spoken to a few classes today, and I've asked, half the people have not seen that movie, you need to see it. Although it's not a clear depiction, because some of it was somewhat exaggerated, obviously, Warner Brothers, right? You want to sell movie tickets, right? So you just can't make it plain. So there was some exaggeration to it, but that story was a true story, okay? And there were many of us that struggled. As I shared with you, I was that average below average student. So I had a learning disability. And I had so many other issues going on, right? But I had a mother, and I'm the youngest of four. So now my sisters graduate, my brother graduates, I'm the last one, and I'm saying, I'm not gonna be like my mother. And I don't mean it in a negative way, I meant I'm not gonna have four kids at the age of 21. I don't know anyone here, any young lady here that can see themselves in today's society, four kids at 21. But you know what? That was my mother. And she was a strong woman. And she was not an educated woman, but she was a woman of God. And one thing, she wasn't godly in the beginning. But when our house burned down, because that's what happened, when you're all the way, way down yonder, and then you start saying, oh God, help me. And you start speaking. And she did. And we became part of a church family who helped. But still, any inquiry, I don't care, be it from education to emotional, I need to find somebody to talk to, to I want to go back to school, I need grants, my mother needs assistance with her PCG bill, I need this person, she's in a shelter and she's homeless, I don't care what it is. 
Anything that I would be able to assist, I'm letting you know right now, you are welcome to go to 225 Market Street, that's Passaic County Community College, Office of Admissions, or you can also go to 155 Market Street, which is City Hall. Thank you, bless you all, and I just thank you for having me here today. Okay, so today was the conclusion of a great career day. It was sponsored by SOIT, and it was organized and led by the SOIT team, led by Ms. Kathy Esquiche. Thank go. you. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you once again to all the community members and professionals who took part in this year's career fair. The students learned a lot, and it was very insightful for them to hear firsthand from the successful people of our community. I invite all of you to take part in next year's career fair. And once again, thank you to the World Languages and ESL Department here at SOIT for a phenomenal job. As the supervisor, I am beyond proud of the job you've done. Thank and I can you. attest to that my kids loved it. Okay, um, hey guys, this is, um, we're going trip to Canada and my name is Desi Nainapa. All right, this is, we're going to Toronto, Canada. Um, the population is 2.7 million. The weather is usually cold over there, so you know. And um, yeah, that's the capital of Canada. Flight info, we're departing um, December 23rd on Sunday from New York airport, and it's gonna be two hours nonstop. The time is right there. We're gonna be arriving January 5th, from Toronto's airport, airport correction, and this takes one hour, 44 minutes. Okay, okay hotel information, we'll be going to Lee Germain Hotel, Maple Leaf Square. This is also in Toronto, over there. And we're gonna stay every night until we leave, cause you know, I don't have a home over there, so I'm gonna stay at the hotel, obviously. The price is $1,174.21. They have free Wi-Fi, free air conditioning, and food services for you. This is um, itinerary and activities to go to the Royal Ontario Museum, Art Gallery of Ontario, the Toronto Zoo, and the Centreville Amusement Park. Ready? Okay, the total cost of the trip is $4,132.85, but due to bundle savings, the price has now gone to $2,958.14, including the hotel price. All right, and this is sponsored by Desi Nine Apple once again. This is my contact information, and you know, starting at $2,000 and a safe flight. Thank you.